Hey, we're checking out Unreal Tournament pre-alpha, which is in fact actually probably Unreal Tournament 4 or Unreal Tournament 2K15, uh, if they were to go by the previous naming scheme. But what it really is, is the new Unreal Tournament they're developing on the new Unreal 4 engine, I believe it is. Uh, now, Unreal 4 engine is free. Uh, it's been completely free from the developers and to people that want to play Unreal Tournament. You can download it. And access this game and as a result you can play unreal tournament for free um i think they're planning on monetizing it through some microtransaction hats uh cosmetic things but not things that change the gameplay so anyway with that little long-winded and crazy introduction we're just going to jump in now bear in mind this is pre-alpha so it's not even alpha and it's very much in development and they're very much doing a community development on this so it's really open-ended and there's everyone's getting involved People are just making maps um, and putting forward suggestions for content. And uh, as a result, hopefully, when everything comes to a head, we'll have a really nice, refined, 90s-style FPS, but hopefully with the with the modern touch on it. Let's go full screen and, and pray that it's still recording. I'll just have to assume it is. And we're just on an early version of Deck 9, so as you can see... It's missing all the little fine details that make a map really attractive and sexy to look at. But it's got the, the basic layout. And this is what most of the maps at the moment look like in uh, Unreal. Because it's still in development. So what they're trying to do is just refine the gameplay and the weapons. Not the visual aesthetic. Whoa. But they do have one or two completed maps. And I'll go to one of them. I'm going to play this for a little bit and go through some of the different weapons. And then I'll go to uh, a more visually finished map to take a look at that and uh, yeah so far my first impression of this it, I mean, it really does play and feel a lot like <laughs> I killed him after I died it does feel a lot like the the older sort of Unreal 2k3 um, and you know it feels like one of your classic 90s style Mental FPS is I used to play Unreal Tournament was the sort of was the first shooter that I really got into it, and it wasn't even the uh, the deathmatch mode. It was the Tac Ops Beta is what I really got stuck into, and that's before I even played Counter Strike Go. So for me, it's it's really nice to see that this game is still alive, and and that they're going back, and that they're not going back to the for those of you that will know this obviously if you play this but for those of you that don't know they basically kind of lost their path with Unreal they they had Unreal Unreal which was fantastic they had Unreal Tournament again which was fantastic and then Unreal 2K3 which was absolutely fantastic and then they started deviating from from the uh, sort of core basic FPS thing and started putting vehicles and big maps and all these mission modes and things which were nice I mean they, they were a nice change and uh, you know you have to commend them for doing something different with the franchise and you know that I think they're probably worried that it would get a bit stale but it, it basically just sort of it moved away from the point of what you're playing in action FPS for which is you know to, to shoot people quickly learn where weapons are learn a map how to play a map and be really focused on that so the direction they probably should have taken it was with refined community features um, cosmetic microtransactions to make sure they can monetize it and uh, community support for, for maps rather than drastically changing the uh, mechanics uh, which they didn't do but now they are doing that so <laughs> it's taken a couple thousand years but it seems that we're now where we where we ought to be and I can't aim anymore <laughs> don't want a uh, sniper rifle for close-up combat But yeah, it's just, just absolutely fantastic that we're going back to basics with this. And there's no reason why they can't do, you know, the big maps with the crazy vehicles and crazy capture the flag modes. But just having this with better community support, um, sort of equivalent of Steam Workshop and all the other stuff, absolutely fantastic. Oh. And uh, for me personally, I, I really do enjoy playing Quake 3 Arena, which is obviously... I guess in direct competition with this now, um, but I, I've I've always preferred UT. I, I like the weapons over it. I think UT is a little bit more 
accessible in some ways. Maybe it's a little less hardcore than, than Quake, but it's just, it's, I just enjoy it more. Uh, maybe because I'm not that good at these games. So, I'm going to just kill a couple more people with the, with the rocket launcher. As you can see, the weapons are, you know, the, the classic weapons at the moment. And there was just a patch uh, the other day with small tweaks to these weapons. I'm not noticing too much drastic happening. But let's, uh, how long's left on this? Six minutes. Let's go to a different um, map. Uh, one of the finished maps. Quick to the return to the hub. So one of the biggest, most noticeable changes uh, between this version of UT and older versions or different versions is the way they've divided the servers off into these uh, community hubs. So let's uh, click to find a game. And you can see... You've got the individual servers here, but then, they, then they're then they grouped by region. And in each cluster, you then have the ability to pick actual individual servers with different options. So I guess what will happen is that you'll get clusters specifically for t certain game types um, or modifiers. Because you have, you have so many options for UT. And actually, I think one of the big things that, again killed off the older UTs was the server browser and the, the introduction of bots to servers and the inability to be guaranteed a consistent service when when you play the game. You, you load into it and it'd be hard to find a server with, with without bots in or a server that you want. It'd just be a complete mess. Whereas it seems that they're making a real effort with this to make it so it's easy for you to be able to find the game you want or even just create a game yourself. Um, that your friends can join. I did this the other day. You can just create a server instantly, host it off your computer, um, and your friends can all pile in, and it's and it's all fine. So let's just let's just start one now. I'm going to do DM Outpost because this is a map they finished off. So we can have a look at the, the the visual fidelity of Unreal 4 and the new Unreal Tournament. Um, don't want any bots. Let's just put the time in it on 10. Force respawn. Spawn, yeah, I'll do. Oh, Instagib. These are mutators, so let's have Instagib because Instagib's amazing. Uh, there we go. I'm starting this server. And uh, this is different to when I last loaded up. I guess it's starting a. Just showing a console. Let me know what's going on. I just hope it hasn't started a dedicated server. Oh, there we go. So it's loading into my own server now. And anyone could join. I could just invite friends to join. All really nice and simple and very immediate without any faff. We can't join until other people join. But if you just have a look at the the graphics. It's running a little bit slow because I'm recording. I'm not in full screen mode properly. But this is running at 150 plus FPS. And I'm on an i5, 2500K, 8 gigabytes, and a GTX 970, which it, it is a fairly recent card. Um, but I'd imagine this would run absolutely perfectly for people on mid-end systems, even with everything whacked up to full. But look at this! Look at this skybox and uh, environment. Absolutely gorgeous. This giant waterfall, and uh, just really nice subtle lighting. And I think. It's, they've done a really good job with the with the maps that they've included in this already so far in the alpha. There's a lot of detail to them, L lots of nice effects, nice light and everything, but none of that detail's getting in the way of the gameplay. So you don't struggle to really see people. Sometimes when you go in from the light to the dark, there's a bit bit of a delay before the um, sort of fake contrast, uh, sort of your eyes adjusting changes. But even that, even with that on, I was playing this for a good two or three hours the other day, and uh, at no point did I feel like the game was ruined by the by the graphics engine or by the details blocking the actual gameplay. So they've done a really fantastic job, and they're really focused on making this a proper competitive shooter and not getting lost in in the shiny aspect of it. <laughs> but even even with that in mind, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. These textures, the detail, and the design of the levels, they feel like they're a solid place, which is often a problem with... <laughs> just off since the game, that's stupid of me. Often a problem with science fiction-based shooters is that they don't feel 
real. I need to uh, fix this. Wrong box. <laughs> There we go, that's much better, as I get vaporised. But the, the reflections and texture work and just little details, and they've got some little dirt on the screen. But again, if you've played Battlefield 4, for example, they have this like dirt effect on the screen, it looks horrible. But in UT, it only shows when you're directly underneath really bright lighting, and it's quite subtle. It's not irritating, it's just there to make you feel as if you're placed in the, in the environment. And it doesn't get in the way, you, you basically almost filter it out, but... When you do notice it, it's just a nice little, nice little touch. Let's find this guy and shoot him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's too good for me. Bark tooth with uh, the reaction times of a coke snorting ninja, apparently. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them there. There we go. So if you watch this, you can see clearly in that room, and the lighting of it looks fantastic. But and as I go in, you'll notice my sort of virtual eyes adjusting. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm easily impressed by graphics, but I, Unreal 4 Engine does look absolutely superb and runs flawlessly. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> totally caught me off guard. The the gibbon effects look a bit look, look a bit cheesy, so I guess I guess they could improve that. But it's not really the most important of things. But really, I, I mean that as an introduction, as I say, this is an early early alpha of UT. All it is is that and all I really wanted to really talk about in this video was just to introduce you to to Unreal and what they're doing with it. It's a free download, so you can just grab it. There's no there's nothing lost and I'd, I'd definitely get it because it's basically a free, awesome Unreal game. Um, and it's just going to be really interesting to see how this develops over time. Let me get some kills. And this guy's just lost. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Let's go and do one of the different game modes, actually. Let's ruin this game for these people. Turn to the main menu. We're going to do a quick capture the flag. Oh, loading times as well. Absolutely uh, blazing fast. At ridiculously fast loading times, considering the amount of details on these maps. I'm going to try and touch the enemy flag in them. Then I think we'll call this uh, video a day. Which team are on blue? Oh, he's my teammate. Just because he's got the red flag does not make him an enemy. You really don't want me on your side in a war because I'm just going to shoot you. If it moves, shoot it. That's uh, that's my motto. Apparently, I can't aim to save my life. But since the last patch, they've do they've got two maps now that I think are sort of not finished, but you know, have the have the polished proper textures and geometry on them which I'm sure they're going to keep refining them uh, but the general movement gameplay everything else it plays exactly like Unreal 2003 you know you've got dodging and uh, movement speeds and everything else it just all the weapons just seem very much like UT 2003 which I think a lot of people will be really pleased with let's touch the red flag just one touch there it is. It's covered. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, it's finished before I can even do it. No! Oh, what? Ah! Come on. Oh, no, there we go. We, we lost and did absolutely nothing. But I think that's a good, good enough place to end the video. As I say, it's just an introduction to Unreal, the new Unreal tournament. Ten, nine, eight, just um, seven, really worth six, getting it. Totally free. Five, go to the Unreal website. I'll put a video, a link to that in the video description. Um, 
And, uh, well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you want me to cover more of this, if you want me to look at more FPSs on the channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share with friends, all that business. And also follow us on Facebook. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.